Hey everybody, Tokusa here. We are just doing PvP grinding. Of course, if you are playing the game frequently, you do know that the season ends in just a couple of days. And I'm just going to use, like, the newer characters or characters that I think are very good while I climb up and just, like, show you my progression as I grind. So, as you can see on the screen, we are going to use Celebrations Todoroki uh, to grind up today. Now, I'm not going to use all 10 stamina. I'll probably, like, break it into multiple videos because I like showcasing units. Uh, you know, we've kind of forgotten about. I feel like the new Deku that just came out has taken away the shine of a lot of the other characters that have just come out. So, especially this Todoroki. I feel like this Todoroki is... Uh, I don't want to say underrated, but he's he was overlooked for sure. I just feel like all the other Celebration characters were a little bit on a different tier than him. They're all amazing. Uh, but this Todoroki can still shine very, very well, especially when partnered beside another really dominant MMD, which is essentially what we're going to look at in PvP here. So uh, I've already used this team a little bit, uh, but this is the team essentially, right? So we got uh, Todoroki and Nejire. And the reason you really want to run a dominant yellow beside him, like Dobby even, uh, is because of this. It's just a nice little mini passive. Obviously his whole kit, I'm not going to go through it, but it is a very defensive supportive build with barriers and whatnot. But this extra little bit of defense he gets from this auto skill really does make a big difference. Especially with somebody like Nejere, right? Who's already somewhat tanky. She's got health regeneration in her kit. Creating more survivability with barriers and extra defense lets Nejere just like go crazy in the long run, right? Uh, fights are definitely more drawn out with this team, but it, it works really, really well. And we usually have Deku coming in on the fourth slot, right? So if one of them does get KO'd, uh, usually is Nejere. They like to target Nejere a lot here. Uh, Deku can go crazy. So because he's also MD, right? Extra defense, he's got damage reduction. And then, then the power up from him too. Uh, it's good. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, without further ado, we're just going to fight uh, different people every time. Uh, we're going to fight Kana here. And yeah, we're just going to do some PvP grinding and have some fun with it, really. Uh, I don't really have any specific g goals here or like what I'm trying to like show off with Todoroki. Uh, I feel like if you're looking for big fancy numbers with this unit, you're, you're not going to get that, unfortunately, right? I do think he was worthy of that. I thought when Todoroki got announced, he was going to be maybe uh, like the the, uh, the Froppy of the fantasy characters, right? Or Yeah, just Froppy, really. She was the main DPS unit over there. And uh, I thought that's what we were going to get. Because, I mean, Bakugo was already a pretty offensive unit, but he was more, like, disruptive and, like, debuffing, right? That was his big thing. Of course, if you have him, you are plus, then he goes... He, he is definitely even above and beyond what even, like, uh, Sue can do. But, I don't know. I just figured, like, that might have been what Todoroki was going to be. But, that's alright. I don't think I have plus ultra animations on, by the way. Keeps it a little bit shorter. Uh, I'll probably play it uh, towards the end, maybe. But right now, as I'm just trying to grind up PvP, and I want to, like, use my stamina as much as I can, right? Because I gotta edit in between everything and whatnot, uh, which does take some time. And then, I just don't want my stamina being at 10 for PvP fights right now. Which it is. It is definitely at that. Uh, so I want to try to take advantage of all of it that while I can, and maybe get up to... I think top 4 is reasonable. Because right now, we're middle of the pack top 2. Uh... Don't know if I will get there, but top four would be sweet. And then top four would make me consider <laughs> uh, buying some attempts. Even though it's not worth it for gems, I just like hitting legends right, you know? You start up at elite instead of expert, and that makes a big difference when you're climbing right. So, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm timer recording daily resets, not for another, like, what is it, four and a half hours. Uh, so, pretty good for me, I honestly think. I feel like... I can get a good amount of attacks. We're really what we're hoping for is secret battles. Secret battles are what we need. I wish there was a way to trigger. That would be beautiful. But yeah, as you can see with this team too, we're not taking damage. Like we're literally invincible. Like it, it really does take like a UR plus Bakugo. And even then it takes a long time for Bakugo. But it's really just like somebody with like piercing shot or something. Like, like Froppy, right? If she's here, like a fantasy suit, uh, then, then my team can start to feel it after some time, but that's about it. Uh, other than that, it, it's pretty much just this. It's, it's like 12 turns of just who gets the first KO first, and, uh, yeah, we just go from here. When I was using this team, uh, prior to recording, I fought, like, a Monoma and Aizawa team. I, I swear. Well, 
I want to say he went to turn 20. Like, it was... It went for... I don't know. I don't, it was too long of a fight. Uh, and it even... Like, that one fight, too. was, like, one of the first fights when I was, like, testing out a team that I wanted to, like, grind up the uh, Legends rank with. And I did want to use Todoroki just because, you know, I feel like I haven't used him in a while. That was, like, one of the first fights I ran into while, like, oh, let's let's see how he does now. And I, I honestly wanted to scrap the idea of using him. And it's not... It wasn't his fault. It's just, like... When I run into fights like this, and we might even run into it in this video, where uh, I it's a defensive team versus a defensive team. Even this, like you're seeing this, this is what, turn 8 now? Uh, I think. That's okay, that doesn't matter, it's a one turn stun. Turn 11, I'm sorry, I, I am way off. Uh, it just, it goes, it's, they're long videos, like right, every fight's gonna be like 10 minutes long. So that stun does actually suck a little bit, right? It kind of messes up acting skill chains, but... We should still be okay here. We'll be able to get rid of Bakugo, which is really good. And yeah, we'll float it there. Uh, I guess I didn't really even talk about the team setup that much, eh? Um, it's pretty straightforward. Well, just because of the memories I have are very, like, uh, premium, I guess you could say. Uh, because Todoroki does uh, manipulate sub counts as well, right? With his uh, barriers, when he has barriers activated, or when you knock a barrier off him. I can't remember exactly. But either way, it, it lowers the active skill cooldown time of all allies. And even though that is a six turn cooldown, uh, you can do barriers with the one action skill and his plus ultra. And of course, Momo, uh, Momo also lowers action skill cooldown. Um, it, it works that I, can, I don't actually have to run like uh, full ba or battle formations on Momo. I can run a super fast memory. This is that free to play memory, right? Uh, this is a Black Body Sabbath, so I got some really good DST speed rules here. 20% speed for purple, and then of course this gives 40% uh, when there's a yellow unit on the team, which of course we have. And then I have both UR Plus, or DX, is it DX? Yeah. Uh, Don't say summertime. This, uh, when this memory got announced, it was so broken, and I don't know if you've ever seen my Nezure summons, but outside of maybe All Might that just came out, those are probably my best summons ever. Just because, even though Nezure, I think I, I UR Plus her before... Uh, Pity, I know I got the memory done. <laughs> that memory, I just got it a million times. It was beautiful. Uh, anyways, that's that's enough rambling about the team. Uh, we are not going to fight. Uh, on, uh, listen, I'm going to butcher that pronunciation. But I know you're, you're a guild member, so shout out to you. Uh, and I saw the UR Plus uh, uh, full 100 deck here, so we will hop into this. On Sosu? I definitely butchered it. Listen, if it's an anime character, I apologize. My, uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but my, like, realm of anime I've watched, it's not very, uh, wide. I've watched a few, but I don't know. I feel like if that's an anime character, I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it sounds like an anime character. But, yeah, this is a very good team, of course, right? I like the double deck lineup. It was, I just did that in my previous video, and I think it works really, really well, but... Uh, I'm excited to try all, like, five of them. I feel like you can make a five-team Deku work, right? There's a lot of good Dekus out there now. Of course, you have these two. I do think Vigilante Deku, in my scenario specifically as well, uh, is very good. You can actually still hold on to this meta. I do think the, uh, Deku Xrati is very good. And you can run, uh, the, uh, buffed-up World Heroes Mission Deku. Like, the purple one. Like, uh, when they all returned with, uh, Deku and Roddy. They all got that nice buff, and he actually became pretty viable, so I, I like that. It made him usable. It was great. I was very happy with that. Um, okay, we got rid of Deku. So, that's that's pretty much the secret here. Um, when you are fighting a uh, full 100 Deku, and they don't have somebody that can cover him, like Red Aizua, who I think is probably his best friend, or like a Monoma, or even Compress, right? Because Compress can hide him, right? Now, I'm not too much on the defensive end. The computer is just all over the place with that crap. But if you can hide them on the attacking end, then you're in a really good spot. Because you need to just protect full 100 at all costs until... Hey, World Heroes Mr. Deku, let's talk about it. Uh, until, uh... There we go, let me show you guys click there. Oh no, that's what we're doing. Until turn 5, right? Turn 5, he gets that persistence, and then he's just off. He's just gone. He is off to the races. That boy just cooks, right? If you saw my last video with him in Vigilante Deku, my full 100 is only level 100. And, uh, what was that? I think I was using Dulce Summertime in that video. But, like, he was outputting more damage than Vigilante Deku. And I know my Vigilante Deku, or anybody's Vigilante Deku, only has the one action skill that attacks and the plus ultra. 
but he was UR plus, and I have very good uh, auto skills into him. So the fact that he just he was out like DPSing him throughout the whole video, crazy, crazy. That boy can just do nuts damage. All right, Deku, get out of here. We don't. We get it. You can survive a long time. Um, let's see here. Throw some plus altars out actually. Why not, right? Get some big blows there. There we go. Pretty sweet fight, though. Uh, very good team. Uh, but yeah, I think if you want to use full 100 on a defensive team, you have to either have disruptors around him, like Impress. Even Ochako, I guess, could work. But I think somebody like Red Aizawa is is the best team that you could run from him. Momo, Red Aizawa, Deku, and you're going to do very well there. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm not fighting... Uh, oh, that was a defense player. I don't want to fight any uh, duplicates here. I don't want to look like I am bullying anyone. We will fight Zap next. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, so that's how I would use full 100 on the defensive lineup. Red Aizawa, I'm pretty sure is his best friend. I'm, I'm pretty confident in that, so... You have that duo, you're going to be A-OK -okay grinding up. People will not want to fight you on the defensive end. Uh, so Zap here had 520,000 battle power. Very good team. Uh, Y'all already know, it's Ochako. That, that is going to be the biggest problem here. And that is exactly who we are going to take out. Uh, of course, it's going to be easier said than done. Momo max HP. A lot of freaking last stands. Deku damage reduction and healing. And with the battle power, it's, this is going to be... A, <laughs> this is one of those fights that goes like 600 freaking turns. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, if there's one thing I'm very confident in this team that I'm using is uh, when it comes to the tanking in the defensive versus defensive matchup, I'm a win. At least 99% of the time. Uh, I feel like the only times I've ever lost to this team is I get, you know, compressed or uh, I'm fighting up two. But even then, I don't know. It's it's not too common where my team falls. Also, so I I've, I've, I heard, saw this on Reddit and I'm not sure or like Discord. Uh, if this is true, but if it is, it's actually amazing. But I heard that there is over a hundred people that reach Legends rank this season. That is, you know, you might be thinking or comparing it to other games, like that's not that amazing. But for as long as I've been playing or making YouTube content, right? I remember I got up to Legends rank on the final day, and I'd be like 40th, maybe 50th. Uh, like 60 was what I was most used to. But I, I know I've been up in Legends rank before, with like three days to spare, and I was like 40th or maybe even like high 30th. Like, there were not many people that dedicated to get up to Legends Rank. But if they're all right, and I'm assuming that why would you? That's not something you would want to lie about. Uh, there's over 100 people at Legends Rank. That is sick. I love that. That is showing that, you know, the player base is, you know, being competitive again. I love that. You know, they're all grinding in this. Uh, maybe, like, of course, Fall 100 deck was very popular. A very, like, highly anticipated character. So maybe that brought a lot of people back. But still, nonetheless, nonetheless, I love hearing that we got that many players, like, on board right now. That is great. And, like, this is all before Season 7 starts, right? We got Season 7 May 4th. And then we got the movie coming out in August, I think. Like, August, I don't know when in August, but I believe it is August. We have that movie coming out. Like, the, the, the future for not even just My Hero Ultra Impact, but for all hero you know, games out there, essentially. It's looking good. We actually have a lot of stuff to look forward to. So, uh, hearing that there's that many people playing Legends Rank, or in Legends Rank in PvP, that's great. I love that. I love that. Uh, it, it also motivates me, right? I mean, I've been having fun. It's a lot of fun since I've been back, because obviously I was away on a vacation, so this all feels like fresh, you know, uh, you know, content to me. It's just fun to do right now. And just with so much stuff on the horizon, it just Oh, damn, my freaking PC almost crashed there. It just, it feels good. It feels good. So, I kind of want to get up to Legends rank just so I can see that, right? Because that actually also makes you grind in Legends rank, right? Because top 100 is when you get, there's like a cutoff for rewards. So, that makes a big difference, right? <laughs> just getting even up to that top 100. So, that's pretty sweet. I'm happy about that. That makes me, you know, excited. Excited to what's to come, right? Because Season 7... There are going to be some crazy characters coming out, too. And, uh, obviously the movie. We got Dark Might Therapy out. Well, hopefully that's not a spoiler, but I hope you've seen the trailer. But we have that character. Uh, even though they don't love doing too many villains. Uh, but they could definitely do all the new characters that come out of that, right? Um, there's still worlds, uh... 
No, they do real heroes missions. Uh, is it two heroes? Uh, the one with Deku and uh, Bakugo, though, right? They both get uh, one for all. I don't know where that is. Nine. Like, nine would be a sweet villain. We got, we got Flecked in here. I would love to see something like that, right? Oh, damn. We almost lost Nezuri there, but not quite. Not quite. We should be good now that Bakugo's out of here. Uh, but yeah, if they ever wanted to implement those characters. And then, of course, we have this new movie coming out. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff coming for us here, so I'm pretty excited. Damn, we actually lost Nezure! Oh, painful. You know what? I guess it is time for Todoroki to cook here. He can start doing some crazy damage. Uh, but yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to that, so I'm pretty excited. But yeah, as you're seeing, I don't know how long I just rambled on. Uh, I guess I could check how long this video is already in recording for. Uh, 15 minutes. I'm assuming this fight's been like eight. <laughs> and that's that's my point, right? Like when I'm using this team, you better be ready for some long, long videos, some long uh, uh, fights in between, right? So it's not really a downside. I don't mind it because the win rate is really good. Turn 16, by the way. Uh, it's 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 still pretty fun, but they could they feel longer, right? When I'm really trying to grind. Once again. Ooh, 21 Kezo. Alright, Toyoki. Maybe I should build you offensively, make you look good. Um What was I just saying there? But yeah, this team, not very quick. That's why I like using my Lady Gon and Seiji team. It's like turn six, I win or you win. So it's it's I love that. That is right where I want to be, right? A nice quick fights grinding up quickly. Uh I'm just gonna go see how much damage I did there. Yeah, 1.5 million with Nezure. I even got 600k with Totoro. That's crazy. Uh, IZB will be next. Uh, yeah, see, a lot of the teams on repeat. Hey, celebrations Totoro with respect. I love that. Uh, but yeah, team's good. And yeah, I mean, like, it's longer, but the win rate's very good, so I, I don't mind using it, right? You, you see Todoroki's value a lot in these fights, especially partnered beside, you know, arguably the best yellow unit in the game right now, Nezure, but, um, it's just, it works really, really well. Or at least the best yellow unit to put beside Todoroki. Is what I should say. But yeah, yeah, works good. Uh, what's another thing? Oh yeah, so I don't, I'm not, listen, I'm not sponsored. I swear on everything. I have like, what, 600, 700 uh, subscribers. Nobody's sponsoring me. But uh, for all those that know G Fuel, now, uh, I've never had G Fuel in my life, but... I know it's like some energy supplement drink, uh, but they had that My Hero Ultra Impact uh, collector's bundle where you got like a lunch kit and everything, right? And uh, I'm not going to lie, it was a little pricey, but I'm like, hey, you know what? That's My Hero. The bottle looks pretty sweet. It said stainless steel. So I ended up buying it, and uh, I have it here. Look at this. This thing is glorious. Uh, it is, it's, you know, for real, stainless steel. And let me just do my move here. This is definitely stuff. This looks like an ad. <laughs> I apologize, but I, I, I honestly just got the bottle just because it looks sick. And I love it. It actually looks so cool, right? You got Deku, Ochako, Ida, Todoroki, and Bakugo here. Uh, pretty stainless steel. You got some nice imprints around the bottle. It, it's it's great. It's it's heavy duty. It's going to last me a long time. It's very attractive, especially if you're a hero fan. I, I feel like you'll love this. And uh, it came with a few other things. Honestly, I just wanted the water bottle, but you couldn't get the... Uh, Oh crap, what turn is this? <laughs> I feel like I just wasted uh, Nezuri's dual slay. What turn is this? This has got to be a turn forward. Uh, but it came with a few other things. Uh, the bottle's the main thing, but it came with this lunch kit. I don't know when in the hell I'm going to ever use this. <laughs> but, I mean, it came with a lunch kit, and it's massive. So, I mean, if I'm ever out and going... I mean, you got the heroes and the villains in the back, right? It says G Fuel everywhere, but that's alright. Uh, I don't know. It's sweet. It's pretty cool. I know I should be showing you all what I actually got from, like, Japan, because I feel like that's way more interesting. But this just came in, like, yesterday. And then, uh, it came with this Hero Perk drink, uh, Blueberry Lemon. That's your cup of tea. I mean, Deku's on it. Looks cool. Uh, if I'm being real, it's not bad. I've had better, but, like, I like the flavor still. It works good with water. And if you're someone that struggles to drink water, like I used to, like, <laughs> I'm not kidding, like, five, six years ago, it was, like, orange juice and apple juice and anything else I could possibly supplement instead of water i just i was never a big fan of water i don't this this is bland for me right uh now over time you know uh that has changed and water is now absolute life for me but 
if you don't, water is tricky to get down. Uh, it's just not the most appealing thing to you. I mean, this this does make it pretty good. It, you definitely taste the, the blueberry lemon. I feel like if you mix this with, like, milk, it would taste super good. But with water, it's still a good taste, right? It's, it's different than water, obviously. And uh, it's refreshing. I do enjoy it. But if that's something that you are interested in, you could definitely, uh, you know, check it out. But it, it, I'm not going to lie. There's a few dollars behind it. But it's still sweet, right? The bottle itself, to me, is worth it. Like, this is something I would pay a good amount for because I know it's high quality and uh, I love it. I love it. It's just great. This this alone to me made up the whole purchase. So, uh, you know, not, I swear, I swear it's not sponsored. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool model. I enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably do like a recap. I don't know if I'll make a video on it, but I might just like post a bunch of images of everything I bought. Uh, it wasn't all, a bunch of hero stuff. Like I got a Deku little figure and I got a Endeavor, I got a, of course, Bakugo that I've already shown. I got a Lanyard for my keys. Uh, what else did I get for Hero? I don't know if I got any more for Hero. I already had a ton of Hero stuff. But I got like a Free Run poster for those who haven't watched Free Run. I highly recommend watching Free Run Beyond Journey's End. Uh, you know, it, it, was, it was hyped up by the uh, anime community pretty heavily. And I figured, why not? I might as well give it a shot. And it is beautiful. It is uh essentially everything i want in an anime beautiful storytelling you know you got it it feels like it's a slower paced fantasy thing uh it's just great if it, it, it gives me like lord of the ring vibes you know like the companions the warriors the elves free Rin and fern and all that i don't know i love them all i love them all uh himmel's gotta be like my favorite character of all. oh he's up there he's up there for like a side character uh i don't know man that guy's phenomenal so I got a, a free run poster and I uh, got some, like, of course, Dragon Ball stuff because I do like Dragon Ball. Uh, but mainly I spent a lot of my money on cooking clothes. <laughs> or not cooking, food and clothes. We got a lot of uh, apparel over there, pants, shirts, the whole, you know, nine yards. And then food. I was so excited for food. Sorry, I haven't really been talking about the fights at all. So if y'all just want to hear me ramble, this is essentially what it is. So I apologize. Uh, how long is this video? <laughs> I gotta keep double checking. I'll probably just do the secret battle and call it, because we're already a half an hour. Um, but yeah, I got so much food, and I'm not... I, I've li Listen, I would love to explain everything I got. Did it, did it, just, did it just lag there? If it lagged there, I apologize. Uh, but, uh, I would love to explain everything I got, or ate, I should say, but I honestly forget half the names. I was literally trying everything and anything. But I had some high-end ramen, uh, Ichiban ramen from uh, Shinjuku. That was, it was like a two-hour wait because it was like the most like hyped up place there for ramen possible. And you know what? Is it worth two hours? Uh, two and a half hours is how long we waited. No, but the food was the best ramen I've ever had. Hands down. Like I'm not, it's not even debatable to me, right? Uh, like I've had a bunch of ramen here. And I've liked it, but I've never loved it. And then we tried two or three places before the place in Shinjuku. And they were really, really good. But still nothing that made me, like, go wow. It takes a lot for me to go wow for food. And uh, that place did it. That place did it. I actually went back. And we waited another... It wasn't as long, but it was like an hour and a half. Because the line is crazy. Plus we went, of course, cherry blossom season. So it was peak attendance for people. They were everywhere. And it was... It was crazy, man. It was a very busy time, but it was still a blast. I had a lot of fun. Uh, and I didn't I didn't leave the surroundings of Tokyo. It wasn't a very long trip, so I just, I spent, I mean, I explored what felt like the majority of Tokyo, but if I were to go back, I'd be going to Osaka. I'd be going uh, just ev everywhere and anywhere, right? I would be going to, just to multiple, pla multiple places, right? I'd be pulling a ZOM 100. If, if y'all have seen ZOM 100 or read the manga, they... Uh, I mean, obviously zombie apocalypse, but like they are just everywhere in all of Tokyo, right? And that's pretty much what I would be doing. I would be checking out the outskirts, uh, places where there are no people, still very popular places. I, I would just go everywhere and anywhere. So, uh, I don't have any plans to go back soon. Uh, it's not like I don't want to, it's just, you know, school, work, all that stuff. Uh, but when I do go back, which it will happen, I definitely will be going everywhere. But yeah, just taking in. I mean, I guess city life, 
uh, which I'm pretty comfortable with already. That was fine. The people, there's so many people, but everybody's great there. Understanding the culture a little bit better was phenomenal. I had a blast with all that, too. Uh, just how everything's organized there. The cleanliness, it is beautiful there. Uh, I don't know. 10 out of 10 recommend. If, even if, like, you don't just love anime, you just want to experience it for traveling, it's great. It is beautiful. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. But hey, if you if you an anime person just like I am, then you, the trip is, is that look much better. Literally at every single vending machine, not every single vending machine, but I want to say like six out of ten. There's always like hero. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the bottles inside, but there's always like little like hero propaganda on it, right? There'll be like a little like frame on top of the vending machine or on the side or painted on the bottom. Pokemon was also a big thing, but I swear, Hero was the number one thing with Pokemon. It was like switching back and forth on every vending machine. And if you know uh, Japan at all, the vending machines are every other quarter. They're everywhere. And it was just cool seeing so much Hero representation. Uh, so, yeah. I guess the new season is coming out soon. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I'll do one more fight and actually like pay attention to everything that's going on. We will fight Cool Kid for the final uh, battle here. And we'll actually just talk about the fight. I feel like I was just rambling on. I, I don't know how interesting this is to everybody, but... Uh, yeah. As you can see, I don't really have to, like, think too much when I use this team. It is very, very good. Uh, it just feels indestructible. Only that one time we lost Nezuri was against a very, very premium team. I think that was Zap, who took 520k, or had 520k battle power. It was the only team to really get rid of one of my units. So... The team is very, very good. Uh, I have a very good a good win ratio with this team, so I do enjoy using him. And in the right situations, I guess you could say that about most characters, but uh, even with Todoroki, like, he can look like an S-plus character. Like, he can look like a top 5 character in the best case scenario, right? Like, if we get a Nather premium... I mean, we're not going to, but if we got a Nather, like, crazy, I don't know, super, like, offense-orientated yellow unit, uh, to this Todoroki gets more shine right again, right? Uh, if I had, uh, MND Dobby built up more, just, like, more dupes into him and built up, I feel like this Todoroki is one of his best supporting units, right? You're giving him extra defense, barriers, you have Momo already, he's gonna give that health regen to him, or when he burns himself. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I could see him actually cook it. But, uh, yeah, so I, I really do like this Todoroki. Like, he's gotta be put in specific scenarios to, like, get his full potential. Like, you don't even have to run him with uh, Nezure or somebody like that is yellow. But I like to take advantage of everybody's kits. So just to do that, I get to run Nezure, right? And it's not like Nezure is no, like, slap, slap, right? She is phenomenal. She does ridiculous damage. She is amazing. And, yeah, I just have a, a, a blast using her. And, yeah, you don't have to run him with that. So with somebody yellow, but I, I like to do it, right? And that's why the new Ochakos kind of got me down. Like, I, you really got to fight a red to get... You see, with Todoroki, it's one line. That 20% defense for other yellow units, that's all you're slacking. He's still supporting himself, at least. That new Ochako, you have to fight red. You have to fight a red unit, or you lose 30% of her kill. And I'm not a fan of that. So, uh, I, <laughs> I apologize if you, uh, me rambling was not what you were anticipating today, but that's exactly what happened. But uh, in terms of Todoroki... Obviously, the boy can still do very good. I actually, I should recap all the fights I just did. The boy can still do tons of damage. He is still very, very good. Uh, whoops, that's not a defensive team. Um, and yeah, he's just—he's a top tier uh, unit for sure, hands down. Wow, puppet master. Uh, that's a heck of a team. I did not see how that turned out, but uh, I think we started with Kana here. Uh, yeah, 1.2 million. And, like, the damage is going to be inflated like crazy because all these fights go much longer, right? So I'm able to build up and do tons of damage. Uh, Antosu, or, I, listen, I apologize. I know you're guild member. This is a shout out to you. Uh, uh, 518k. Not too much damage here. That was a bit of a quicker fight. Zap, we already saw this. 1.5 million from Nezure. 600k from Todoroki. Todoroki's never going to look like the big DPS unit here. 1.7? That was even more than... I was not paying attention. How long did this fight go? What the heck? 1.7 million. I must have just been rambling for days. I apologize. That was probably annoying as hell. Uh, but that, that's crazy damage there, right? And then Puppet Master here. Yeah, this was, this was a quicker... I guess, like, no... See, that's the difference. 
this is a heck of a team Puppet Master has, but like with Zap, with uh, this team here, or even uh, IZB here, like having Momo <laughs> changes the way the fights go out all the time. It's probably the same here with Cool Kid, right? Yeah, like, like look how quick these fights are. And it's not like these aren't competent teams. Like they're still very good. Like Puppet Master's team is still solid. It's just this character momo is that's why i made when i made my pvp tier list she is literally on another level by herself even with this new deku who gets rid of last stands and all that it doesn't matter like she creates a whole new pvp game essentially right it's it's approached completely different when you have this unit and that's why when you do see momo like she's you are plus everywhere right she is the most valuable pvp unit you could possibly have so uh yeah i just think i mean this is a total video i don't want going off on her but you need her to really be pushing yourself to those next levels. But anyways, that'll be it for this one. Uh, once again, sorry if there was too much talking and not much about the hero content. I was just, I was having fun, kind of recapping my Japan story very briefly, but I had a blast with that and the stuff I bought and all that G Fuel crap. I probably just put in your braids. I mean, it's a cool bottle. Uh, listen, I don't even want to show it again, but like, this is sick, man. This is sick. I love this. I saw the Deku Bakugo and I think Todoroki's literally right there, yeah, yeah. Combo, and I just, I just had to do it. I had to get it. It's it's my main water bottle. G Fuel sees it in the future and they want to sponsor me. Love it, but I, I don't really care that much. Uh, but yeah, thank y'all for watching. Uh -huh. Todoroki, I honestly think he's very, very good. And honestly, in the attacking end, can be amazing. Even on the defensive end. I've seen teams I've fought with him and it's so annoying. Uh, but yeah. Very good, very good grind. So, gotta hop right back into another video probably and record somebody else, but big thumbs up for me. So anyways, uh, take care. Hope you get up the Legends rank if you are grinding. Uh, apparently it is pretty competitive now, so that's pretty exciting. So anyways, until the next one, Todoroki, big thumbs up for me. Take care, and Tokuso.